Hey everyone, welcome back to tech.net. Today, I'm excited to show you something awesome. A deep dive into the Matrix version 10.8.0 custom ROM. This ROM comes with a mix of Android 14 goodness and even some sneak peeks of Android 15 features. Let's get started. Here we are at the home screen after setup. Now let's take a look at how clean and minimal this ROM is. Heading into the settings first. There's matrix settings with tons of customization options, from UI tweaks to system adjustments. You can really make this ROM your own. Next, I'm jumping into the battery settings, where you'll find thermal profiles. Whether you're gaming or just scrolling, this helps optimize performance without overheating. In the system settings, we've got a system update option, which is great for keeping the ROM fresh. You get an option for the system profiles. In About Phone, it's running on Android 14 with the latest September security patch. Plus, there are some cool features from Android 15 here too, like enhanced UI animations and smoother navigation. One thing I love about this ROM is how much control you get over the display. You can adjust pretty much everything here, brightness, dark mode, font, and more. Super customizable. Now let's check the SafetyNet app to check the device status. A quick check on SafetyNet, uh oh, it's failed. And the Play Integrity also is failed. So the Play Store will also show that device is not certified. That's expected since this ROM comes with kernel SU pre-installed. But don't worry, I've covered how to fix this using Zygisk and Shimiko in a previous video. It's a quick fix, do check that out. Time to test the performance. Let's run Geekbench to get the score. Geekbench scores for single core, 559 and multi-core, 1990. Which is not bad for gaming, but a bit average for heavy multitasking. Now let's do quick test of CPU throttling. CPU throttling was stable, no heating issues here. This ROM is pretty solid for day-to-day -day use. Music lovers, you'll appreciate the Viper FX sound improvement. It makes a huge difference in the audio output. The Google Photos also work fine. Also, Google Photos gives you unlimited storage, which is a great bonus. The daily use applications such as calls, contact, messages, Bluetooth, and Wi-Fi, all working perfectly fine, no hiccups. Now, for all you gamers, I put this ROM to the test by playing BGMI for 2 hours. Gameplay was smooth, with consistent 60 frames per second, although there were minor heating and a bit of lag here and there. But overall, it's still one of the best ROMs for gaming performance. And that's it for this review. If you're looking for a ROM that blends Android 14 stability with some cool Android 15 features, Matrix version 10.8.0 might just be the one for you. Don't forget to join our Telegram group for more support, the link's in the description. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.